My name is Roxanne Gilganona and I will be performing uh, my term demonstration on Foley Cutter on Female. So first is assembling the equipment which is the Foley Cutter Kit and then before touching the patient I will be doing um, hand hygiene and then providing privacy and then verification of the patient. Good morning ma'am, my name is Roxanne, I am your nurse for today. You can call me Nurse Rox or Sally. May I know your name ma'am? Okay, Mrs. Maxine. And then explain the procedure to the patient. Um, so today, ma'am, I will be doing polycanter. It means um, I will be inserting a sterile tube to your bladder to drain your urine. Is it okay, ma'am? So assuming that I already put the bed on my working height to avoid um, back aches. So next is I will roll down the blanket. And position the patient into the dorsal recumbent. Knees like. So assuming that she is already in position, with their feet um, 2 feet apart, it must have um, good lighting and good position for the patient. So assuming that this is the sterile kit, so the correct way is away from us, side and towards. So assuming that's the correct. So remember that the border is not sterile, inside is the sterile. So now I already have the sterile glove, I can touch the thing inside it. So this is the drape, one is for the uh, underneath the patient's thighs. And one is for the uh, um, exposing only the uh, genitalia of the patient. So, so first drape is underneath the patient. Make sure not to touch anything. That is not there right. The next drape is um, around the genitalia of the patient, exposing only the vagina. So assuming that this is the thing. So next we'll be wiping the vagina using cotton balls and warm water. Assuming that we have warm water, you can also use um, wash clothes if you have. So first is spread the labia. And then, from each corner, use each cotton ball and discard it. Deep. From upper to lower section. And the last cotton ball, will be at the middle. And then we will wash again our hands to use um, sterile gloves. Then next is ask the patient if she is allergic to um, latex and betadine. So ma'am Max Quinn, are you allergic to betadine? How about the latex? So assuming that we have betadine, and then these are the swab sticks. This is sterile water, the hunter, the drainage bag, and then we will put it inside the uh, sterile kit. But first is we will try if it will inflate the balloon. So yes, it's good. We will deflate it. First is with your non-dominant hand, use thumb and your fingers, spread the labia. 
And then with your dominant hand, swap. First is away from you. Get rid of it. Another chopstick is towards you. And then get rid of it. The last chopstick is in the middle. Get rid of it. So, Ma Max Payne, please take a deep breath. Let's inflate the balloon. Then give it a tug. It is secured. The next is attach the um, drainage bug onto the legs of the patient, not under the legs. Attach the drainage bug into the bed. Do not hook on a movable bed like side rail. Just below the hips. Then pull it out. Done. After I pull out the calendar by the physician's order, I can now start cranial care like what I did on the beginning, like um, using seven cotton gloves and warm water. After I give cranial care to the patient, I already wash my hands and I turn the patient into the comfortable position. And the last thing I do is um, documentation. I will record the time of catheterization, the amount of urine was removed, the description of urine, like the color, the consistency, and the um, reactions of the patient towards the catheterization. So, Mama Spain, thank you for your cooperation.